Welcome back to the Leon Challenge. This is episode three and we have gone very far into the future. So we're going to start off with the schedule. So as you can see, we have had a lot, a lot of games, especially going to highlight the ones in the Europa League. So as you can see, as we saw in the live com of last episode, we lost 4-1 to Real Betis in the Europa League. They have since sacked their manager and we went on to beat Rangers 5-0, absolutely dominating this game, which was incredible. Got us on to three points in there. We then had a couple of games in the league where we went undefeated again. We then faced Zoraya, who at this point were top of the group with six points but we easily beat them three nil absolutely all over them we then had a disappointing loss to nice in liga Un, which yeah did set us back in what we wanted to do but recovered with a win against les went into another europa league game against zoroya which we won four nil so completely destroyed them this game with a spread of goals from a lot of substitutes. But look, 28 shots, 14 on target. 3.41 expected goals is actually unbelievable for this side. And then again, following that up with another good win against Wren. 4-2, disappointing to let in that goal. And a one-all draw with Marseille, which was quite disappointing. But we did dominate the game and had, as you can see down here, had two goals disallowed in the last five minutes of the game which was absolutely gutting both disallowed for offside which was ridiculous and let's see if we can go ahead and look at this we are going to show you this goal what an unbelievable bit of play this was so lovely passing around here to the box to Bois to Paqueta to Bruno and the new right wing signing we signed in the summer literally just touches it down st stopping the ball as it was flying towards goal the keepers already dived and just tapped it in so i was really happy with that goal so now why have i stopped us here so if we go over and look at the europa league you can see that after four games we are sitting on nine points and top of the group so i've stopped us here because we need one point from our next match in the europa league against rangers so our next game and the live comp of this episode will be us against rangers obviously we won five nil in the first leg well, not leg the first game of the group against them can we at least get a draw and confirm that we will be in the knockout stages of the europa league in season one so let's now take a look a bit of a closer look at Liga Un. So we're doing pretty well playing quite nice football. As you can see, we're sitting in third, three points off second, who are Monaco, who we drew with earlier in the season. PSG already running away with it, but we didn't expect to catch them in League One. Looking at the player stats, if you look down here, our sub goalkeeper, because obviously Lopez is still out injured, is actually leading the way with eight clean sheets in 14 games which is unbelievable and then toko ikambe in our squad is leading the way for assists as well it's second drawing second so let's go into the squad let's first and foremost look at who's uh, scored the most goals so when we look at it musa dembele sitting on 16 goals now something that i learned about dembele is that he has not this season but the season after his contract will expire and he's already expressed interest into that he doesn't want to renew his contract so he's definitely going to be someone that we have to move on in the summer does he have a good value should we have a look so value of 34 to 45 million so that should be a big incoming in the summer but also a huge loss but we're going to keep him for this season try and hold it out and then a few other goals spread out to be honest between mainly those attacking four positions which is great in terms of assists obviously we know toko can be sitting on six so shakiri which is unbelievable like it 
his 30 years of age and 29. They're the two wingers getting the most assists from them crosses into the box. Boatis, the new sign-in who is now out injured, who's got three assists and one goal, which is really nice. Maldini down here, as you can see, has made five starts for eight appearances in total and has one assist, one goal, which is not great. So let's look at the average rating for the season so far. Who is playing the best? So, so far it looks like Moussa Dembele and Jason Denyer are leading the way, closely followed by Shakiri Boateng and Toko Akambi. But new signing Yosef Atal from Nice has obviously currently got a heavy match load, but he's also on a 7.2 average rating for the season, which is really good having played 11 games, uh, and that's 11 starts as well. So that's really nice there and getting two assists as well from that right back position, which he has played every game. So now we're going to go ahead and live com this Rangers game, which could see us through to the knockout stages. And here we go straight into the action we have kicked off. So bearing in mind, we just need a point from this game to secure it. But what a start with that. Delivery and volley there. Unlucky not to get the goal 20 odd seconds in, but with very, very positive start. Obviously, we do play a very attacking formation, but Rangers on the attack here now. Hadji out to Roof, who's taking a shot. Rebo Roof gets another shot off, but Polispec, who is a really good keeper somehow, are back up. Obviously, leading in assists in the league, as we said, but looking for a good performance here in the Europa League once again. Shakiri to whip in this corner. Good delivery, but it's cleared nice and easy. But Toko Akambe picks it up. Denia into Paqueta, knocking the ball around here nicely. But now can Rangers break, having took the ball off us. Playing the ball, pinging passes. Good interception by Denia. Can we now spring a counter-attack? Boateng to Shakiri, Nice one-twos with Paqueta. Can he get the ball in? Tries to at the back post. Dembele headers it in. Is this going to stand? The keeper's going to... The ref is going to check it as per usual. But will it stand? Hopefully. It does. So that is 1-0. Good bit of link-up play from Shakiri and Paqueta on that right-hand side. On his left foot swings... It in and a nice header from Dembele. Very simple goal for him. 1 0. Right, here we go. So we're actually having more. Oh, what a free kick. Hit the crossbar. So it, it seems like we're getting more shots on target but not more shots about even but we seem to have had most highlights so far we're knocking the ball around but real high pressure here from rangers but as long as we keep it and something can come of it maybe we can get some space on the left hand side instead toku kando with a great ball through dembele's dinked the keeper he's the ref's going to check it as per usual but oh my god what a dink cheeky cross and a dink can we stay on side yes it is this ball was unbelievable. So obviously Emerson on loan from Chelsea could potentially be something we look to make permanent. But Dembele, we need him this season. He has been our everything up at the top. Just proving it's onside. Miles onside. Okay, so a rare highlight starting in the Rangers half. They do knock the ball around quite nicely. Van Bronckhorst has gotten playing pretty well, but that was a bit of a waste down there. And the ball is through to Dembele. Hits the post. Can we manage to press and get the re get another chance from it? Atal's going to mop this up nicely and easy. Seven shots, four on target already. Rangers get us up and running again. Tavernia with a good cross. Not really over the box. But the ball's worked back in. Camera to Aribo. Back to Camera. Shoots. Hits the post. Hadjit. Can't make anything of it. Polisbeck still got his clean sheet intact. But a very close run game compared to the first one of this fixture in the group stage. So we're 2-0 at half time. So in the dressing room, we're going to say we had lots of shots. And I am happy. Just keep going. 
go in. So we're not going to make any subs at half time. We're going to let this roll out. We will make some subs due to fitness later on in the game. But when you're playing this well, why change it? Good swing in. Boateng can't make the most of it. But good. It's good. I'm happy with what I've seen in this game. Confident to go into the knockout stages with the squad how it is. So we're on the attack here, a, a fashion to camera up, but can we get the ball back and dispossess them? Arfield, formerly of S Southampton, if I, be I believe. Dembele and Paqueta linking up nicely. Shakiri gets the ball. Bruno to AR. Out to Emerson, swings it in. Dembele, good save, McGregor. Very strong save. It looks like we're starting to dominate this game a little bit now. Waiting for the first person really to drop in their fitness a little bit to make the changes good ball through Jermaine Defoe's come on Hadji's looking for Tavernier on the right wing crosses it in good save but Defoe gets the rebound so it is 2-1 we're not quite done here yet so it was a very good cross a good save but pushed it into the center where Defoe could just tap this ball in why was he unmarked Okay, is there going to be any more chances? Not quite sure. We're going to make some subs now. Rennie Adelaide is going to come on for his first game of the season. Good save from Polisbeck. And Kakare is going to come on as well. We might take off Hasim Awa too. Just because he's very tired. So Maldini is going to come on for the final bit as well. So a triple substitution pretty much. We've got another free kick here. Can we see out this game or can we expand on this lead? Packeret. Oh, it hits the crossbar and it is pushed back from Rangers. But we're still on the attack. Maldini with a great ball to Rene Adelaide. But he's taking it out wide. A bit strange decision. And Toko Akambe with a volley straight into McGregor's hands. Picking up a couple of yellow cards now as well. At the defence with Atal and Dania. But one minute to go in this game. Surely that's it. That is it so we've 17 shots eight on target we just edged it i would say it was tight in the end considering all the chances but a nice victory well done and as you can see here that leaves us top of the table and winning the group stage a battle with zoraya and Raul betis as they just drew their game means that that puts us into pole position and the only team with a positive goal difference Right, one more game done and a draw, disappointingly, against Montpellier. But we only nicked the draw in the last minute, so we'll take it. Now, something we would be interested in going on and winning is the French Cup. So we're going to quickly go through one at a time and see who we pull. St Etienne. Now, that is a tough draw just to add to the rest of the chaotic fixture schedule we've got but St Etienne it is and after that that is where we are going to leave it for episode three so we just had a really good performance against Stade Romay and coming across a 4-1 win we could not complain about that so let's double check where are we in competition so we're currently after 16 games sitting in third place at one point off second we have qualified in first place for the Europa League and we've just had our first draw, which is the ninth round of the French Cup where we, we will be playing St Etienne. So that is a really good start to the season. We're really happy with the squad, the recent form undefeated in the last five. So next episode will be... It will be the end of the transfer market and the live com maybe the big second place showdown against Monaco on the 5th of February. So if you are enjoying the series so far, please pop a hit that like button and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all the videos on the channel and see you soon for episode four.